guys, I'm Lizzie. Thank you so much for listening to Marilyn Monroe last week. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, share with all your friends and family and anyone who you want to hear it. I had such an amazing time recording it and it was so freaking incredible finally being able to share some new music with you. Um, but yeah, this is vlog seven. Um, so I'm going to launch straight into some questions. Uh, first of all about Marilyn Monroe. Uh, Wayne asked, Marilyn is a legend even so long after her death. What is it, do you think, that makes people legends? And who do you think of today's artists will have legend status? Um, I think what makes people legends, from, you know, from my personal opinion anyway, is not necessarily their talent. You know, I think that has a, a large part, plays a large part. Um, but I think it's how they connect with people. I think people become legends when people um, take them into their hearts, when it's a really kind of emotional connection. And and I think that's what happened with Marilyn Monroe. And I, don't get me wrong, I think she's incredibly talented and um, and a very uh, vulnerable and kind of damaged figure, uh, which I think you know made a lot of people feel very sympathetic um, and meant that a lot of people could relate to her. Um, but yeah, I think that's what really makes a legend. I think it's more connection than anything else. And of today's artists, who do I think will be a legend? Um, this could be like famous last words. Um, you know, I would have said, I would have said like Lady Gaga, um, of the most recent artists because she's pushed the boundaries so far. Um, so from this kind of current batch, maybe Lady Gaga, although her last album I don't know, you know, time will tell, she's still young. Um, definitely Madonna. Madonna's definitely a legend, I mean, there's just no arguing about that. Um, yeah, I think those are probably the two main legends I can think of. I mean, obviously Alton John, you know, people like that, the Beatles, um, the Stones, I think they're all legends. Um, but yeah, they're also all people who have really had their fans really take them into their hearts. So yeah, maybe one day. <laughs> Um, Jennifer asked, was Marilyn Monroe aimed at anyone? Not really. Um, Marilyn Monroe was definitely taken from different experiences in my life. Um, as well as, you know, thinking about Marilyn as, as a figure and as a person and sort of, you know, thinking about parallels or movies that she might have done and things that kind of applied to me. Um... But not specifically. A couple of people, maybe, but I'm definitely not naming any names. <laughs> um, okay, Vinesh asked, you've sung heaps of national anthems in rugby union. Have you ever sung for the Kiwis rugby league games? I have, actually. Um, I can't remember exactly the year. I think it might have been 2008 or 2009, but I definitely sang at an Anzac test in... Melbourne, I think I sang in Wellington as well, um, but it was a long time ago, but I think the Kiwis are amazing. Um, I love league, I love union as well, obviously. Um, I also sang for the Warriors at the grand final a couple of years ago, and I am waiting for the day when we get back into the grand final, because it's going to happen. <laughs> um, okay, Concilio et Animus, did I say that right? I think it means courage and wisdom, um, from Twitter, asked, what's your favorite TV show or book? My favorite TV show, I'm a bit of a TV geek, um, I love Castle. Castle's a great show. It's really funny. Um, it's had a great run. I think it's about season five or six at the moment. Um, I do love Grey's Anatomy and Scandal. Scandal's amazing. Oh my goodness. Like I just, I'm on the edge of my seat with every episode. Um, books, you know, it's kind of weird, but I think my favorite book is a children's book. Um, I think that Harry Potter is probably my favorite book. It's just, it's a book that I even read now as an adult. Um, amazing writing. You know, I can't believe that she had that whole universe in her brain. It's amazing. I'd love to meet JK Rowling one day. She's incredible. Um, okay, and Lars asked, as we're getting closer to Thanksgiving and Black Friday, and this day slash period is getting more and more famous here in Europe as well, I'm keen to learn whether this is a special day slash period in New Zealand as well. It's not really. Um, we know about it, but we don't celebrate it. Um, Black Friday, I think, we've kind of always known about, but it's nothing really big over here. Um, 
But obviously, it's huge in the States, um, becoming bigger in Europe as well. So, happy Thanksgiving to all of my US fans. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing holiday and spend it with all your nearest and dearest and loved ones. Um, and to all my Kiwis, happy summer. It's summer. <laughs> amazing. Um, so, yeah, that's it from me this week, guys. I'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks so much for all your questions and speak to you soon. Okay, bye.